How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. We are back in Salem, which, of course, has recently been redeveloped ever so slightly. It does seem to have worked, though. Traffic on this road is flowing much better. There's, it's not tailed back the way it used to be. We have a lot of people going up and down this new major road. We have a lot of people going up and down here. And we don't have that much traffic stuck on the main roads. We do have traffic stuck. Well, we do have traffic stuck on the main road as well. But regardless, it's, it's better than it was. It might get worse once the city grows a little bit. And traffic into High Point and into San Francisco is still pretty bad. But things are definitely better than they were. Now, traffic is not going to be the focus of today's episode. If you watched the last one, which you should have done because these episodes have numbers in them for a reason, we're going to be setting up another Planks production line. We're going to be taking those Planks over to High Point uh, Fulfillment Center, which is what I call this little space. We're going to load those Planks in a train. We are going to take the train over to good old Miami. And we're going to drop them off. And they're going to be consumed by this guy. Because this is our main machines production facility on the map right now. Hopefully it's not going to be the only one, but it has got 6,600 uh, steel in storage. And obviously not very many planks, which is a problem. So we need to figure that out. And that's that's my plan. That's the Oklahoma uh, planks production thing. That's the goal. That's how I'm thinking we're going to fix that. Whether or not it works... We're going to find out. We're going to find out together is uh, is what we're going to do. We're going to get started very quickly. Uh, we're going to go in here with just a good old, very, very simple truck depot. Because most of this line is, is just going to be trucks. And I'm going to say right about here, I think, is a solid spot for it. We are going to want something that can drop off some logs and pick up some planks. And I'm going to say, I'm going to try to get it right down here, which I absolutely can do. So we'll go for, uh, let's say right about, right about there seems solid. Can I just rotate you ever so slightly to look a little bit better? I don't know if I can. I think that's, that's probably fair enough right about there. So that'll do the job. That's going to be our drop off for the logs, pick up for the planks. And the planks just need to be taken all the way down to high points. Now, I think what I'll do for this is I'm going to create a bit of a larger space this time around. I think we're going to go for something uh, something a bit like this. We'll go for the three platforms for the time. In fact, we should probably do the platforms on the, on, the, uh, on the other side, shouldn't we? So that I can expand this a little bit. But I'm thinking right about here is where I'm going to go. And this is basically going to be the part of this, you know, fulfillment center that we use to drop things off. And I think that's okay. So what we'll do is just very quickly expand this out. It doesn't need to be this size, but I think it's going to look cool. I might also get rid of these lower sections, actually, because I think I can get some buildings along there. And I think some buildings along the bottom of this would be a really good look. Although, unfortunately, it seems I can, I can only do the small ones, really. I guess I can do them in between. And I guess that sort of that sort of looks all right. It's a bit weird, but I'm, I'm kind of here for it. We'll also just expand this because we can. I think pausing the game makes this faster. So we'll expand this a little bit up to the same size as the rest of them. And this will be our drop-off point. I've got no idea whether or not we're ever going to have this many lines coming in here and dropping things off, but better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it, I guess. I, I, I guess that's how we're... That's how I'm going to justify this. That's that's how I'm going to choose to uh, to look at what I'm doing here. Yeah, that's that's solid. That'll be that'll be great. That'll be great. It's also positioned completely different. Oh no, it's not positioned differently. It's just these guys. Oh, do I want to change this up? Do I want to modify all of these so that they kind of have that longer approach road? I think I do. To be completely honest, not necessarily the best idea when some of them are overloaded, but you know what? We'll give them we'll give them the longer approach, and it'll it'll be okay. And there we go. I figure that's that's probably fair enough. I think that uh, that works kind of nicely. It's uh, it does what I need it to do. And that's that's all I could ask for. So let's just go ahead and start getting things set up a little bit here. So we'll do a new line. It is going to run from this guy to this guy. It is going to be very, very simple. So I want it to use 
both of the platforms down here in upper Oklahoma City. And then at this guy, it's going to be coming in. It's going to be going there. Arguably, we could set this up to have two platforms to drop things off and then one to pick up or two to pick up. I, I think we'll do the one here for now and that'll be all right. So in upper Oklahoma, you are loading up on logs down here. You are going to be unloading the logs and it's going to be that simple. We are going to want to say road cargo. We're going to say Oklahoma and it is going to be uh, logs to planks is what it's going to be. We'll copy that as well. And what color are the Oklahoma lines? They are a very nice bright green. Is it that green? I think it is. Okay. Solid. We're going to want to go full. No, we don't want to do that. We want to go new line and we want to go from here. Immediately, we'll say you are loading up on planks. Did I set up the Oklahoma, the other one wrong by any chance? Did I by any chance set up the wrong thing that you're dropping off? No. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I wanted to, wanted to make sure I wasn't making any mistakes there. That's totally fine. So we'll go back up to line one. So you are loading up on planks and then you're going to unload them down at the filament center, which is all the way down here. So right about there, that'll be totally fine. We could set this up to basically go to all of the platforms. So if one of them's full, you can go to another one. That might be a terrible idea, but I'm willing to give it a shot. And then this is going to be uh, planks to train is what we'll call that. We'll get it to be the same lovely shade of green. And there's not that much traffic coming in there, so I think we'll be okay. And I think reasonably what we need to do at this point is just max this whole thing out. So this guy can produce up to 600 right now. Eventually, it's going to be able to produce 1,200. So I'm just going to max out the logs to planks line with a, enough trucks to do 1,200 in, uh, in transit. And we'll go from there. So this is my Salem Road Depot. We're going to get ourselves some vehicles. We do, I think, have some new trucks. We absolutely do. I don't know if I'm using these man trucks right now, but we also have these uh, these guys down here, which are they're all right. I don't think they can haul quite as much. They definitely cannot. But that's OK. I think we'll go with a man 19304 tarpaulin truck on this and see what happens, although. Yeah, the tarpaulin truck can do one more and it can go faster. So, yeah, we'll go for these guys. We'll buy one. We'll paint it bright green. In fact, we'll paint it. It's moving logs. We're going to paint it sort of a brown color so that it kind of matches the vibe. And it is going to go on to good old, where is Oklahoma? Oklahoma uh, logs to planks. So this line right here, it gives us a rate of 55. So if I manage these vehicles and I duplicate, that gives us a rate of just over 100, 110. Duplicate again should give us about 220. Duplicate again should give us 440. Duplicate again should give us 880. And another two of those should give me about a thousand, 990. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're getting these bigger trucks too, which is great. So we can move more, which is what I'm looking for. And then we just need a rate of about 600 to move the planks down to the train. And that should be all right. That should keep us maxed out really nicely. So 1100 there. If I do two more of these, it should be 1,210. Yeah. So there's a capacity for 10 more than we're actually going to be moving. That is perfect. 22 vehicles heading out. What do they look like? They, they're mean looking. <laughs> they are, they're definitely mean looking. Are they all colored uh, properly as well? They're all supposed to be that color. Yeah, they absolutely are. Very mean looking trucks. Very, very military looking trucks, but I'm kind of here for it. Uh, so this is probably going to get maxed out pretty quick. We'll see how that plays out, though. And then up here, a similar story. Planks to train. I'm going to pause while I... Actually, you know what? We're not going to pause while we do this. We don't need to worry about pausing. So planks to train is going to be the next one. So if I buy some vehicles, it's probably... Can these guys go... These guys can go 50 miles an hour as well. Interesting. Okay. I do like the idea of using this tiny little flatbed, but it's good. Its capacity is three less than this big tarpaulin truck, you know? So it, it doesn't seem to make too much sense. Um, I think what 10 of these on that other line would be a rate of five, whatever. We're going to do 10 of them. We'll buy them. We'll paint them. They're moving planks. So we'll paint them. Um, 
what color do we want to go for? I mean, it's planks, right? So it's something like this for those ones. And that is going to go on Oklahoma. Where are we looking? It's going to be down here. Planks to train. That gives us a rate of 135. Oh, we're going to need so many of them. Oh, we are going to need so many of those. I don't like that. I do not like that. We're going to need like 60 of these probably ish, maybe 50. I don't like the idea of putting 40 in there. 539, maybe 45. Let's let's try 43. What is that going to bring us to? 580. Oh boy. One more. 44. 593. You know what? 45 is what we're going to go for. So 607. That's more than enough. It's a lot of vehicles going to be moving out there. A whole lot of vehicles, but it will do what I need it to do. And that's that's all I can ask for. Um, right. That's a start. That'll be the planks coming down here, which is great. There was probably a better way to do this. I'm going to be honest. There's probably a sawmill somewhere closer to Miami, but this is I'm committing at this point is is what I'm doing. So we're going to kind of deal with that. I'm also thinking that this station, I've always sort of intended for it to be expanded a little bit. So this is probably the time to do that. We'll have the, another platform set up for the uh the planks to to head out on which seems like a pretty solid bet so we'll get ourselves a cargo platform right about here and this is also going to be where the other train comes in obviously so we're gonna have to buy one of those which is totally fine cargo buildings eh, i think we'll hold off on cargo buildings for now let's just focus on getting myself some nice tracks in here so these guys catenary is gonna be a thing uh let's see so bring you out do I want to just sort of push it straight over? Because I, I absolutely can do that. Can I get something here that's going to... Can I get something sort of aesthetically pleasing? <laughs> that's that's what I'd be looking for. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty solid. And then we'll sort of bring this over to about... Actually, we'll bring this up a little bit further. And we'll... Oh, we have to have that, uh, you have to have that bit as well. Okay. Can I just connect it here? No. That's a little bit unfortunate. All right. Let me take this whole part out. So that's going to mess with things for a second, but that's okay. Can I get away with this? I absolutely can. So that gives us a shot across, which is great. This guy is going to link up about here, which is great. We'll turn off parallel. And so you can sort of cut straight across there. I need something that can cut straight back is what I'm looking for. So right about there. Is that, is that acceptable? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know if that's what I'm looking for, but it's, it's what we're going to go for. And that'll be just fine. So that's going to come in pick up the logs, head back to Miami. It'll be great is what it's going to be. We're also going to need to sort of move these signals around, I think, just to, uh, Give ourselves a little bit more space. So we'll go here. We'll go here. So this train's going to come in on the right side. It is going to need to cut back across. Which is going to be a whole thing. So it's going to need to cut. Oh, man. How am I going to do this? So the train's going to need to come in here and cut across that way and head out. So I'm going to need some track here. Which means I think this signal needs to move to here, I guess. Oh man. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Let me uh, let me move this one as well. Just back a little bit. All right. I'm going to assume that'll be fine. I don't know if it will be, but I'm gonna <laughs> I'm going to assume it'll be fine. And we'll see we'll see how this all plays out. Now when it comes to the Miami end of things, that's where I've got some questions. So it's gonna come in. I want to say the drop off should be fine. The oh wait, no. These guys are going to be problems. They they are these these trains going to be problems. Because there's one there, there's one there, there's one there. Um <laughs> I hadn't thought about that. Hmm. Okay. Now I could be really cheeky and send the train like up and around. No, I can't send it up because this doesn't link. I would have to, I would have to create a point where the trains connect up here and then send it down this way, which would be so stupid to do. That really, that would be such, 
such a roundabout way of doing it. Send this train basically through McAllen, through Miramar, through Marietta. Oh man, do I want to do that? Because it is going to avoid these. These guys shouldn't be a problem for too much longer though. They, they shouldn't be because what's going to happen is we're hopefully going to produce more machines. So those guys will get moving more often. <laughs> now, for those that aren't aware, that's what's called wishful thinking. Um, that's unlikely to be the case, but I'm going to, I'm going to try my best with this. Um, oh man, this is going to be a terrible idea. We're going to, let's get this set up. Let's, let's just do this. So we're going to come in here, new line. We want to go from here. We are going to say that this is going to be called train cargo. It is going to be, where are we? High point, I guess. And it's going to be blanks, blanks to uh, Miami machines is what we'll call it. So train cargo high point is this nice orange color. And this needs to run all the way along here, all the way into good old Miami. So that'll be all right. Now, what platform are you using right now? That's that's the real question. I need to get platform one. So that should be fine. You are going to be set up to unload blanks. You're going to be set up to uh, load the blanks. And then I need to look over here and see that you are, in fact, on the right platform, which is great. So you come in, you cut across, you cut across. They're all doing what I want them to do. So that should be fine. All right. Now we buy a train. And now we hope for the best. So let's, uh, oh man, what do I need the rate on this one train to be? I mean, reasonably, we're going to be making uh, 600 planks maximum. Well, no, we can do 800 because there's another, there's another forest by Oklahoma. So we could, we could max out this one thing. But for now, we're going to aim for, for 600. What are you able to do? 87 miles per hour, 99 miles per hour. I, I think we go with this guy. This seems pretty solid. Although, what else we got? 100 and, I didn't realize you could do 117. I don't think any of my cargo can do 117 though. I think the highest is 75 on those. So, 65, can I get like a 75? You can do 75. I think we go with you. You can do 87. Yeah, I think we go with you. So we'll get this guy and then cargo is exclusively going to be planks. So we'll go for, we'll go for these guys, I guess. And, um, you know what? I want to paint them. I'm not going to lie. I want to go for like a nice sort of dark red. And then for the wagons, we're going to go for sort of the, the planks color. So that is, let's do a capacity of like, can we get a nice flat 200? Can I get a nice flat 300 and get a 306? Let me do, let me do a nice sort of round 180. That is going to put more trains on the line though, which is the problem. So you know what? Bring that back up to 270 and that'll be all right. So that's going to be our train, 32 million. Let's put you on planks to Miami machines. You can head on out. You can do your thing. And if we take a look at this line, the rate is 142. So we're going to need like a few of these. We're going to need like five of these to uh, to max out that rate. And that's also not accounting for the fact that right now these guys are very much in the way. So, yeah, I might. It might not be a bad idea to sell some of these trains. It really might not be a bad idea to sell some of these trains. We might. <laughs> we might just have to because it's it's a problem. It is, it is definitely a problem. Also, I think the fact that this train is going, no, it's going 13 miles per hour. I was about to say that the game must be running slow because the train's going slow, but it is just doing 13 miles per hour because it was coming out of the garage. So we'll not worry too much about it. What's going on here? Why is there a weird level crossing? Okay. I guess we'll see how this goes. We'll see, we'll see what happens. I'm worrying about things that haven't even happened yet. So I'm just gonna hope for the best. I mean, looking over here, oh God, that, that frame drop when I look at uh, look at Salem is, is wild. Uh, looking here, we have got some planks stored up, but we have a lot being lifted and taken up this way, or logs rather. Looking up this way, oh God, traffic. 
<laughs> it's already a thing. Oh boy. All right. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Configure this. Let me, um, <laughs> let me expand this a little bit because this is going to be a bit of a pickle is, is what it's going to be. So let me, uh, let me look at you manage line and you're going to go to platforms three and well, you're going to go to four and three and that'll be fine. And that is the logs line. And then the planks line manage, uh, let's see, Oklahoma City sightings. I want you to go to platform one is what I want you to do. And platform two, not three, not four. So each of them will now have their own little set of uh, platforms, which is, ooh, <laughs> hello. Boeing 737 100, 1968. Good year. All right. We might have to, I mean, how is the airport doing? There's 131 people want to go to Kansas right now. Oh, does that mean I have to get rid of the... Oh, wait. Hold on. I don't... This is... I don't know if I want to get rid of... I mean, I need to get rid of the Douglas, let's be honest. Uh, that's a shame. It looks so good. Even in pink. Look at it. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful plane. Anyway. <laughs> enough of that. Enough, enough of all of that. Uh, let me look at my lines. What do we got? Air passengers, we get four of them. Oh, yeah, we got the Miami to Kansas line, don't we? Uh, oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, Miami to Kansas. Replace vehicles, unfortunately. So we're using the... Oh, yeah, we're using the, the de Havilland Comet right now. We're not using the Douglas. Oh, I love the Douglas. The, the, the Doug, uh, Look, the DC-3 is an amazing plane, and I will not hear otherwise. Um, the 737-100 is actually smaller, more expensive per year and up front, but it is also faster. So we're going to just go through, I think we're just going to modernize the, the aircraft kind of right off the bat. I think that's, that's probably fair enough to do. Makes them a bit quicker, which is great. Salem to Kansas has a lot of people wanting to head out and not a very good rate. I don't know that we need another vehicle on this line, to be quite honest with you, but we'll put one more on there because there's a decent number of people waiting. And there it is, 737-100. It is, it is good looking. It, it, it's all right looking. It's not as good as the DC-3, but it's, it's all right. All right, so now we seem to be having some trouble with some trains that can't get past each other. <laughs> and I'm not 100% sure why. So you need to be able to get out here but you can't because i guess reasons uh let me go let me go into my train lines here let me get this guy to cut across there move that signal back and put a signal here does that fix the problem so you can come out now yeah there we go and you have messed up something i <laughs> i knew i knew I knew I would have messed up something. I thought this actually connected over, but it, it doesn't. That's that's fine. So this guy can get out, which is great. That's that's what we're looking for. I might actually tell the planks line to wait when it's down here. That might not be a bad idea. Just wait until it's got a, a full load. It can just wait. I mean, maximum stop time unlimited, I think. We'll just tell it to sit there. I, I think I think that's what we did. Just tell it to sit there until it has something to move. I think that's that's kind of just the way we go. And then looking elsewhere, looking towards Oklahoma. How are we doing? This guy production six hundred. Uh, this guy production one hundred. Interesting. Consumers Miami machines shipping one hundred and five. Yeah, okay. That'll hopefully increase. That'll hopefully increase. I, I <laughs> I'm a little little a little worried about that all of a sudden, but we'll we'll see what happens. This train might never the train might never fill up, but we'll we'll see how it goes. At the very least, I mean the train is here now, which is which is exciting. It also does have some planks to pick up, which is also kind of exciting. So it's not all bad. This guy is sitting around waiting for the other train to pass, which makes perfect sense. I don't know where the next signal is. It's right there. So this guy should start moving once this train gets past that uh, that signal completely. We really, we might want to 
we might want to look at some of the older lines. I'm not going to lie. I am, <laughs> I am a little concerned about some of the old lines and whether or not they still work. I'm also concerned about this. That's a lot of traffic trying to get into a lower high point there. And I'm realizing that part of that problem is it's all trying to use a lower density road. So let's just look at upgrading this. Why can't I upgrade you? Why? <laughs> Why is there a collision? Where is there a collision? Construction not possible. I I find that hard to believe. <laughs> I I somehow disagree. I don't know. So I can upgrade this part. This part I can't upgrade. Okay. All right. Well, we'll upgrade that part. We will bulldoze this part because I I'm not interested in hearing that I can't do what I want to do with it. And then this little part in the middle needs to go away and uh, connect over like like that. And there we go. So that gives us the connection that we want. I don't know what that's done for the rest of my lines. We might have had a messed up uh, waypoint here, but you know what? That'll hopefully help traffic move a little bit better. That's that's what we're looking for anyway. I'm also thinking this road and this road can just go away. Those are way too close together. This whole little road here can go as well, to be uh, to be completely honest. And we'll see. We'll see if that works. We'll see if that's better for it. We'll see if that gets them moving the way I'd like them to be moving. I... Ugh, I have my doubts. I do have my doubts. This road is also very busy. But at the very least, I mean, Salem is, is doing great. It's doing good. It's growing again. We just don't look at this part of Salem, which is doing terribly for itself and i think part of that problem is that so many of these lines are looping around in weird ways this for example salem loop 2 look what it's doing it is it is making no sense at all actually <laughs> you know what i think salem loop 2 might need to go away i i think the salem loops in general i think manage vehicles select all of them just I, I'm just going to sell them is what we're going to do. And then Salem loop number two, we're just going to get rid of it. So Salem loop two, delete. Salem loop one. Let's let's get a look at Salem loop one. So look at you. Salem loop one, uh, manage line. Can I, I only want to see Salem loop one right now. There we go. It is coming in here, which is fine. It's not looping around in weird ways, which is also fine. It goes out of the airport, which is great. It comes down here. It comes down there. So Salem Loop 1 is pretty solid, actually. So I think I'm going to keep that. I think I'm going to rename it as well. So Salem, I'm going to rename it to Salem Line 1 because I'm going to have that sort of be my format for the rest of these, these bus lines because the rest of them aren't necessarily going to be loops. I mean, they are, but they're not. Well, they, yeah, they're, they're going to be loops, but they're it'll it'll make i'm gonna do something with them i don't know what i'm gonna do with them i'm gonna do something with them though and that's that's fine i also could have just moved the looping thing down here and it would have been all right but yeah it's it's fine can i manage this line after sycamore street can i add a station down here so that it stops right about there is that seems like a good idea it cuts up to chestnut street that's fine as well so just so it comes down to davis street i think that's gonna be i think that's a good call I think that makes that makes sense. As for the rest of it, I think I want to go in. I want to look at buildings. I want to look at bus and tram stops. I want to go from Davis Street. I'm going to come out. We're going to go here. We're going to sort of cut up this way. And I think that'll be a good idea. So it kind of cuts, it cuts out this way. It cuts up. Uh, we do have right-hand drive traffic, don't we? Yeah, we do. Okay, so it comes over. It sticks to the right. Sticks to the right sticks to here. It could share this stop and then maybe sort of come into like this neighborhood. That might be a good idea. Sort of service that entire neighborhood. Share a stop here. Maybe share. I don't necessarily want it to share all the stops with the uh, with the trams, though. That's not exactly ideal. Maybe it shares that one and that can sort of cut down into the, this uh, this neighborhood over here as well, because we don't have that much coverage in uh, in this whole space. So we'll go here. We'll come down here and it can loop back over to uh to davis street in fact it could come down even further to right about 
I'm going to say right about there, I think it's pretty solid. So let's get that set up as, a, as another new line. So from here, and it's, we got some more weird loops going on here as well. I think that's a tram that's looping around like that. I don't, I don't love that, but it'll be okay. And so now we have Salem line two that cuts around quite nicely. We can also take a look at Salem line one that sort of cuts more into the middle of the city. And I think that's, that's decent enough coverage. The only place it's kind of lacking is down here, which isn't ideal, but I think that's all right. It should also mean that this little guy is no longer being used, which means I can finally get rid of this road, which has been causing me problems for the last little while. So that I think is going to be better. Let's go ahead and get some new vehicles for it. Let's also, uh, let me have a look at these tram lines because they are doing some weird, weird things that I do not want them doing. So manage line Davis Street. Stop number two stops you from looping around, which is great. That's what we're looking for. Let me also manage the vehicles in these tram lines. Do we have new ones? I think we are using, I think we're using the new ones. This one can carry more, but this one is definitely more modern. So we're going to stick with that. Uh, as for the bus lines, Salem line one managed vehicles. We have eight of them. Let's look at passengers. I don't know what we're using. I think we are using the fishbowl. Yeah, we are using the fishbowl for sure. So we don't need to replace them, which is fine. This line has a rate of 132. Is it, is it popular though? It's not, it's not crazy popular. There are a few hot spots. So maybe what we do is we'll throw four new vehicles onto that line just to try it out. And then for line number two, let's go, let's do the same. We'll do 12 buses on line number two. We'll get them to be a nice bright red. And it is going to be road passengers all the way down here. Salem line number two. We'll see how that goes. We'll see if it works out. I'm hoping for some good things. I'm hoping that little bit of public transport around parts of Salem that didn't have it before are going to be good for the town. I'm hoping that road not being there anymore is going to be good for the town as well. I guess we're kind of just going to have to wait and see. So moving away from Salem for a little bit, train 40, the train that's moving our planks from High Point to Miami is finally moving, which is great news. We're going to keep this pinned up in the top corner so I can keep an eye on that guy. But does that mean that this guy, well, hopefully at some point, that's going to mean that this guy actually starts to upgrade because transport right now is at zero. We're not moving anything because we haven't moved anything. But hopefully that'll change. And hopefully that means that this will level up and start producing more and that all things will be good. It sort of just depends on how many trains are going to be blocking the way into Miami, which has me a little bit worried. Now, speaking of trains, I've also noticed that uh, this is a problem. The, the bricks to Garland line is ridiculously backed up. It's a it's a pretty major problem, to be uh, to be quite honest with you. And it's it's something that doesn't seem to be going away. What are you moving? are you in terms of being a emissions age 13 you're fine 13 year old truck that's that's nothing that is nothing i i'm getting to a point though where i'm very tempted to swap out this whole setup down to garland for a a train basically i'm thinking of running a train that just sort of connects you know runs runs around here uh it can connect sort of down into the passenger line because garland does have a passenger train line pretty much right in the middle of the city. So what I'd be tempted to do is basically bulldoze this road, take out a chunk of this neighborhood, build a small, I say small, a decently sized uh, truck station in here. And then instead of trucks running back and forth from Garland to uh, High Point, we just have trucks as like a little shuttle back and forth to deliver things to where the people want them. And admittedly, there's really not that many bricks coming to Garland. There's not that much demand for them. I mean, 56, yeah, but they really want fuel. I think at some point I'm going to have to sit down and go city by city and try and provide everything that they want. But for now, I think what I'm going to do is just swap out these trucks. So manage vehicles. This is bricks. Swap these guys out. Cargo. We've got some options. We'll probably just go for this which is the regular old tarpaulin truck that we've had the entire time. So we'll replace, not the regular old one we've had the entire time, you know what I mean, the new one that we're going to be changing everything out for. 
Uh, we'll do the same thing here as well. So swap out for the uh, the tarpaulin truck. That is going to increase the rate of those lines, which is completely fine. And I mean, reasonably, we should be doing that across the board. We should be starting to swap out for these better trucks. But for the time being, I'm kind of willing to just see what happens. What, what line are you on? You're grain to plastic. How old are you? Six years old and complaining about really? That's surprising. You know what? I mean, there's what? Ten vehicles in that line. Replace them. You're moving grain to plastic. Sure. We'll swap them out for something a bit more modern. See what happens. See if that ends up being a... In fact, I realize in doing that, uh, all of these Miramar lines are probably going to need swapped out. So grain to plastic is running up to here. And then that's going to be plastic to goods. Let's manage those vehicles. Replace them. So moving plastic is going to be this. And if we look at that line, it is running all the way around here, all the way up here, and all the way into here. So what do we got? There's, oh man, there's a lot. Uh, <laughs> that's a lot going on there. Pin you. Let's see what we got. So this is goods delivery to thousand, thousand oaks. Swap those out. I could, I could do the little truck. I could do the little truck. I might do the little truck. Would the little truck be better? 72. Up to six, down to 63. Uh, okay. Maybe not. Um, <laughs> maybe 77. That's better. Uh, Miramar goods delivery, managed vehicles. We'll go for the bigger truck as well. 79 goes to 84. And Mesquite is going to be getting these guys as well. 143 goes to 152. That's fine. So that's, that's all right. McAllen wants tools as well. That's, that's fine. They can continue to want tools. They're not getting them. Planks to goods, manage vehicles, replace those with these guys. That'll be fine. So that's that's a lot of good looking trucks coming in there. That's McAllen logs to planks right there. I think we'll be all right. I I, <laughs> I I think we'll be all right for the time being. Oh man. I don't know. It's it's tricky to stay on top of everything I'm doing, you know? It's it's tricky to stay on top of just how many lines I have and what the demand is for everything. It is, it is kind of wild. 7,000. Good Lord. I, uh, oh man, that's bad. These guys are backed up so far. <laughs> They're backed up so far. Um, I think we need to get rid of some of them. I do. I, I think managed vehicles, I think until we start to see a massive improvement, I'm going to have two of them. So we're going to sell those four trains and that leaves us with this one. None in there. None here. That's I'm OK with that just for the time being until we start to see that massive improvement in terms of production down here. And we should. We have this guy moving 270 planks, which is great. And then back this way. If we have a little bit of a look, we've got. 87 planks sitting around. So once those 270 get dropped off, which is, oh my God, of course this is happening. Um, <laughs> once they get dropped off, this guy should start to level up, which is great news. So where was that train? Was it getting kind of close? Where are we looking? We're right here. How much are you going to make for that one delivery? 21.2 million dollars. Okay. All right, that's um, that's pretty good. That's that's pretty that's some pretty good money. That's what that is. That's definitely some pretty good money. Uh, this guy's starting to fill up as well, which is great. So you can continue to do that. Is that gonna give me an upgrade here? Absolutely. So that's what we're looking for. That's what we're gonna hopefully be seeing a lot more of. Annoyingly, we have. A lot of traffic just sort of stuck here. Would this be a spot for a roundabout? That's <laughs> that's a that's a question for a this this might not be a good place for a roundabout, but it is probably I'm, I'm gonna build one because I'm curious to see what happens. I'm also gonna say three lanes. Not that I I don't know that we necessarily need three lanes, but it's what we're gonna go for. And we're going to um we're gonna see how that goes. I I have no idea. I'm pretty sure there are mods to uh, to make roads sort of function better in Transport Fever 2, but I feel like I'm I feel like I'm all modded out, right? I've I've got the better I've got the uh, the higher upgrades, the higher levels for my 
on different buildings and things like that. I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. Because that seems like the limit for this series. Maybe in future. I know there's mods to add more road types as well. I know there's all sorts of mods for this game. I'm going to hold off on any of those for now. If we do another series in this game in the future, which I am sure we will, I will start playing around with more options for mods. But for now, I'm, I'm quite content with what we have. I'm also thinking that it might not be a bad idea just to bring a road sort of straight over here from uh, from this spot. Because I don't I don't think this roundabout is going to I don't think it's going to solve my problem. This might this 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 would do it. But that's um. well, <laughs> you know what? I might build this not because I need it. But because I don't know if Transport Fever 2 can make this work. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to do it, man. We don't need it at all. We don't actually have a highway for um, for this kind of road to exist. We really don't have any need for it. But I want to see what it looks like in Transport Fever 2 when you have vehicles sort of looping around on, on some kind of intersection. I'm just curious is is what i am so we're gonna we're gonna play around a little bit here and see uh <laughs> let's see if this works uh so that's gonna live right there that's fine i have no idea how it's gonna connect to the rest of these roads that's not something i really thought about but uh we're gonna do this we're gonna do this we are going to do can i can i do this is this a that's not a thing okay Ah, uh, this is not City Skylines. That's going to be... <laughs> that's going to be... That's going to be the trick. Is remembering that this is not City Skylines and that this might just not be possible. Um, Can I... What if I did this and that? No. I have to go back further. Or... If I brought... If I, if I took this road back... I don't know. If, I'm just going to mess around here for a second. If I took that road back... And I did this, right? So that gives us like this road really close to where I'd want it to be. Can I? Ooh, no, that's not what I'm looking for. Um, so connect those guys together for a second so this doesn't get weird. You would need to go there, but that's really not what I'm wanting it to do. Uh, <laughs> this game is, uh, this is what I mean, man. It was not, I don't think it was designed for this kind of business. Um, that's not possible, apparently. None of that. Okay, that's possible. That's... Really? <laughs> okay, so if it's not obvious by the fact that I'm demolishing this entire thing, uh, I can't... I can't reasonably connect this to... Avenues, basically, if we're, you know, gonna use City Skylines terms. I can't... I can't connect it to these roads the way I would want to. Now... I could... I could make some changes to connect it in a different way, but I think I'm going to I'm going to save on the idea of doing a, a highway interchange thing until we're in a better spot and maybe we start playing around with actual highways because that seems like it would make sense. I do want to play with highway interchanges at some point. I do want to play with highways at some point. I just, it's just not gonna be today. It's, it's just not gonna be, that's not gonna be a today thing because it just, uh, just doesn't wanna behave today. And that's, that's okay. Uh, what I will do is I'm gonna bring this up here and I'm going to, uh, sort of connect these roads together like this so that I can hopefully get a bit more of a direct route to, um, my planks so that this is maybe gonna help them avoid this little intersection down here and they can just cut straight across. This, admittedly, might be a little bit unnecessary. It might be a little bit of busy work. It might, uh, I don't know, it might just be pointless, really, but I'm willing to give it a shot. I'm willing to see how it works out. We'll just uh, we'll run this around something like that, and that should, yeah, gives us a straight shot across here, back and forth. Absolutely perfect. Might still have traffic problems. Probably still going to have traffic problems, but at least we're not sharing the road with these guys anymore, which I think was probably part of the problem now in better news the oklahoma city sawmill has now leveled up and we are hopefully going to be shipping more and more up to miami in the not too distant future this guy down here is going to get an opportunity to level up and start producing 1200 logs as well and what's good really is that 
this thing, I mean, realistically, we can start using these planks for other things at some point as well. I'm not really too sure what, maybe machines over this way, if we can find some steel production or whatever it might be, but it's something we can continue to expand upon. We do have 145 planks down here already, which is great news because the train will, yeah, it is on its way back. So that'll be good. That's, that's what we're looking for. When we look at Miami itself, we have this thing actually looking to, to max out, which is very exciting. I don't think it gets any more stats when it hits the max level. I think that just sort of, I think that just, just counts as maxing the thing out, but we do have 220 something machines sitting around waiting here. We have more planks coming in as well, which is very exciting. So production here is going to sort of continue to be great. And we should somewhere, somehow have a train coming through at some point to pick up more machines, which is absolutely great news. So this, this has kind of worked out. This has, uh, this is definitely, definitely kind of worked out. Again, I don't think this is going to level up in terms of stats. Production can max out at 800, which is, yeah. So it maxes out at 800. Honestly, that's fine. We have more goods in here than we're reasonably ever going to use. But let's take a little bit of a look at the machines to high point line. So these trains are doing all right. Train 19 has nothing on board. This one is full. Train 19 is on its way here, which is great news. It is a bit of a distance away, admittedly. Train 20 is on its way into high point. So we are probably getting to the point where we can start adding more trains to that line again. We did need to clear them out. I mean, yeah, this thing is actually now going to be losing machines. So let's, let's add one more. I don't want to overdo it, but we'll bring this rate up to 384. This thing's annual production is 750. So, uh, oh yeah, we might want to, um, I guess reasonably we want to bring the rate up to meet that, right? Oh, that could be rough though. That could definitely be rough. I suppose, I suppose what we could do now that I think about it, this, this might be, this might be a big brain move right here. Might be a terrible idea. But if we add more platforms, I can tell these trains to come in and sit on those platforms and just wait so that they're not blocking the rest of the track. That, that might be the way to go here. I don't know if I want more platforms than this, but I am probably going to need more trains to get this thing to, uh, to get the rate to sort of match. So I just did the wrong tracks as well, didn't I? Uh, of course I did. And there we go. It's a bit of an absolute mess is what it is, but it, it works. I've also added all of these side buildings so that we don't end up losing any of the machines that we're making. But this train is coming in. It's going straight to this platform. It will fill up pretty much instantly. Well, not instantly, but you know, it fills up pretty friggin' quickly and it just leaves. There's 206 machines waiting behind, which is great. We will have more trains on the way. This is one of the new ones right here. We actually have another new one that I bought just to uh, to try things out. But this should mean that as all these machines start to move out and as the trains start coming and going, we should be in a good spot. Now, admittedly, we are seeing some issues with uh, with the planks, which was to be expected. We do have a delivery coming down, though, which is great. And if we look at the high point planks one, it is full, so it's going to be on its way as well. In fact, let's see, how are you going to do for us? We're looking at a grand total of, what do you bring in? 7.9 million, that's not bad. This train is not too far away. It's, it's well, actually, it's still a bit of a decent distance away. That's, that's fine, though. We're not too worried about it. Uh, looking down here. We have 144 planks remaining, which is great. We should be seeing, uh, hopefully, a good amount of planks coming out of here. This thing's actually not producing as much as I thought it would. We are shipping 100% though, so that, that sort of checks out. I think what we might want to do here, really, is configure this, make the platforms a fair bit longer, and we'll just tell the trucks that are moving the planks to kind of just wait. I think that's, I think that's reasonably what we do here is just tell them to kind of chill and wait until they're full. So if we look at you, for example, that's planks to train. 
manage that line at Oklahoma City sightings. Uh, I'm going to say unlimited stop time and just wait until you're full. That way they're not, you know, moving empty. Also looking here at consumers, 286 is what we have right now. So what I could do is look at this line and bring this number down. So manage vehicles. If I go in here and I say, give me, you know, sell five of them. If I just, if I just select all of them and sell all, but you know, five of them really. So we'll keep five. That gives me 85 there. If I select those and just bring that number up to about 300, that's going to be more than we need right now. So 342 is more than we need. And that's okay. That's, that's about, because again, this thing is producing 300 right now. We're shipping 286 of producing 300. So we only need enough trucks to move 300 per year. So we can clear it out basically is, is what I'm getting at. We can, we can nicely clear it out and you know, as things develop, we'll, we'll be all right. And there we go. 21.2 million off of this train again. Not bad. We've got this guy coming in to pick up a load of machines. There are currently 495 sitting around. So we will be able to get a full load on that train pretty much instantly, which is great news. The rest of them we've got, that's the slagged bricks line. Do we have many of these guys going around? We've got this one. We've got another one here heading down with 324 machines. We've got you heading out with nothing on board. I guess eventually those trains will kind of figure themselves out and that's kind of what we're looking for. Uh, this is 167 planks sitting around. That's kind of to be expected since I did sell a bunch of the planks. And I mean, looking at you, consumer is 294. This guy is 342. So yeah, we, we have more than enough trucks. They're just sort of making their way up here right now. Now, in other news, Salem is filling out again really nicely. We're actually starting to see a lot of traffic going out of Salem now, which is to be, which is a little bit surprising, honestly. That's definitely going to be a bit of a problem getting traffic sort of through High Point, depending on where it's wanting to go. I think that's something we're going to deal with in the next episode, though. This is kind of the complete opposite problem to what we've had before, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. Salem is projected to grow really nicely, which is great news. So I think what I'm going to do is start looking at replacing some trains. The, uh, the Salem to Kansas City line, for example, a lot of trains on there, a lot of passengers on there, probably more than we need. But the reason I'm looking at replacing these is because I think we just got a new locomotive. It might have been, it might have been a multi-unit locomotive, not 100% sure. Uh, steam, electric, yeah, we just got the Metro Liner, which can do 120 miles per hour carry 78 people so i'm tempted i'm definitely uh definitely definitely tempted by by the metro liner we did also get the west rail west fleet uh wagon right here which we could use as well we could slap an alco pa at the front of it we could the alco pa might be the fastest thing we have actually yeah, so we could slap an Alco PA at the front of it, 117, this thing can do 124. So we could get these trains up to 117 miles per hour or 120 with the Metro Liner. So the capacity on this line right now is 1,824. If I keep this pinned and I look at one of these trains, the capacity of one of the trains is 158, uh, 152. Uh, what's the speed on these trains? What can I get up to? 112. So each individual Metro liner would be able to carry far fewer people, like considerably less. It's quite a few less, but it would be eight miles per hour faster. I don't know if that's worth it. I, I don't know that that's worth it. I mean, what have they got at the front right now? They have the, uh, they have this guy, the Alco PAPB at the front of these guys. So what if 112 miles per hour what if we did this slightly differently what if we went in and said that i want to put one of these at the front and then i want to get the west rail west fleet locomotives and we go so 152 is the capacity per train we can go to 168 this is 246 this is shorter three meters shorter than the existing ones 
but it should be faster and has a higher capacity. 242 million to replace those. We are going to do it because that seems like a great idea. And that's what the train looks like. That is pretty good, honestly. That's that's pretty good. That'll get people moving really nicely. Uh, this is our Salem to Montgomery line. We're going to do exactly the same thing down here. So we're going to get ourselves the multi-unit Algo PIPB. We'll get it in a nice sort of... We'll go for sort of a pale yellow this time. I don't know if I like the yellow, actually. You know what? I think we'll go for a blue again. I think we went for this blue right here. And we'll do the uh, the passenger wagons again. So this has a capacity of 760. Each individual train is 152. So we'll just bring these up to uh, 168 as well. Replace all of those. And that is a nice upgrade for every train line coming and going through, through Salem. Which is great. Those trains could be a little bit longer if I wanted them to be. I don't think they need to be. So we'll sort of leave them as they are. We will probably have people getting dropped off at the airport, which is great. We have a lot of people wanting to fly to Miramar. These planes are actually full. Which is really surprising with 156 people waiting here. That says to me either we need uh, more planes or we need train links to Miramar. And I think I'm going to go with the planes option because that's just more exciting. So I'm just going to slap five more planes onto, uh, onto that line. Wasn't really expecting to need to do that, but that's... That's what we're going to do. Oh, now this is a really cool detail. We have 324 machines heading out of Miami right there. We just had another train pull in and pick up 324 again. So we are really starting to move those machines down to a high point. So we can really start to move those out to all of the rest of the cities. Do we have a train on the way in? We do. We have this guy coming in. So that one can sit around for a little bit. Alexandria now wants machines as well. That's great. I, I love I love this production. I love the higher production. That makes me really, really happy. And uh, having all these planks coming in is, is great news as well. It actually seems like we could use more planks, but we'll get there. That'll, that'll be a thing. We have some planks heading out at the moment, which is great news. We've got 186 planks waiting behind. Honestly, honestly, I think we could do with another one of these guys. I do. I, I think we can get another one. I think we can I think we can get away with two of them now. Because this is getting to 203 already, which is great. We have a lot of these uh we have a lot of the trucks coming in, which is great as well. We have a lot of planks sitting around. Production here is up to 300 now. So that's fantastic news. Production's actually uh, yeah, it's it's doing it's doing really well. It's wanting to level up, which I'm I'm very excited about. So we're going to be moving more and more. Machines are going to be coming down more regularly. We've got San Francisco machines delivery being held back a little bit. I guess we should look into replacing these trucks as well. So let's very quickly do that. We'll manage these vehicles, 15 of them, replace them with these guys. And machines delivery, manage vehicles, replace them with these guys as well. We should do that across the board, I think. I, I think it's probably reasonable to um to look at replacing all of my trucks across the board i'm not going to do it right now but it's definitely something that's going to be on the it's going to be on the roadmap it is definitely going to be on the roadmap there's a lot of things we need to do i i'm really enjoying this run of transport fever too i'm not going to lie i'm having a lot a lot a lot of fun with it so if all things work out i think what i'm probably going to do because here, here's the thing right a little bit of info about the channel and what's going on uh, City Skylines 2 is not abandoned, but I'll play it when I feel like it. And I don't really feel like playing it right now for anyone that's curious. You know, I'm just not really into it right now. But there's a lot of games coming up, like Prison Architect 2. Uh, Manor Lords is coming up. There's like five or six games I added to a list recently that I really want to check out. So... I think what Transport Fever 2 is going to be, and this isn't me saying that this is going to be the last episode for a while. I'm probably going to wrap this episode up, go and have a nap for a couple of hours, and then play more of this. So by no means am I saying Transport Fever 2 is going anywhere. I think what I'm going to do is kind of the opposite. I'm going to try and have this series go on for quite a while. And at some point, I I'm just going to have different projects here and there. At some point, I really want to sit down and try and perfect the amount of stuff coming into into Salem and I want to go city by city and try and just make them 
better. I, I, I kind of want to do that. I also like the idea of rebuilding more parts of Salem. I think reasonably what I might do is just delete all of the lines that come into Salem and then replace them and try and have them be a bit more efficient. Because we have all these clusters in here and it's such a mess. And I think all these roads are, I mean, these roads aren't too bad, but I think we could do better with the uh, with the roads around the place. But that's that's a thing for for the future. That's something we can deal with at some point in the future. I am quite happy with where we are right now. We have 254 planks sitting around here, which is great. We have this guy heading on its way to Miami, which is great. We've got this guy heading out with 324 machines, which is great. But a lot of machines still being produced. Not as many planks. We will get there, though. We'll absolutely get there. I think what I'm most excited about, really, is uh, I want to see these trains coming in and just sitting around. I want to see this this depot just full of of pink train. You know what? I think I'm gonna recolor these. <laughs> I think I think we're gonna recolor them. Uh, we only have. I mean, we have. Hold on a minute. We have a rate of 865. We have a production of. Yeah, we have a rate higher than. We have a rate higher than the the production. So we actually only need the four trains. But I think what we'll do is manage these, and I'm gonna recolor them. In fact, I'm gonna replace them is what I'm going to do because some of them are kind of old now and they are a little bit grimy looking so what if we did I think we are using the PRR which is fine and then for cargo we're using the box cars which is fine so each individual train has a capacity of 324 what if I brought that down and put more trains on the line so we'd have more frequent deliveries what if we brought that down to like 270 that might not be a bad idea. That might bring our our rate sort of in line. If I look at the line now, it's 721. It's, I mean, production can only ever be 800. So if I if I was to go to each of these trains and modify them, and you know, add a box car there, uh, we want to maybe add a box car here. What is what does that do for us in terms of the uh, the rate? 745. Okay, if we modify again, I, I went a little bit asymmetrical here. That's okay. If we add another box car and add another box car and modify, brings us to 769. We could maybe get away with adding another box car to each of them. Or I could chop a couple of box cars out and add a fifth train. Well, I can't chop them out. I'd have to balance it one way or other, but I might. I might just add a fifth train. I think that's kind of what I'm going to do. So add a fifth train. That brings us to 961. And then just modify each of them. We'll take, I don't know, one, two boxcars off of each for now. Just to sort of see how that goes. So 241 kind of across the board. So 272. Take two of those out. Take two of those out. Modify 824. That's that's probably as good as it's going to get. I could take one boxcar off of one train, but that's as good as it's going to be. Let's get these trains to be... I don't know if sort of white trains is a good idea in the desert. I don't know if uh, electric blue is a great idea either. We could just go for sort of a silver. It's, it's also probably not a good idea, but it's it's a train moving machines. It's... In that color, honestly, it's a little bit retro futuristic and I'm kind of here for it. So just before we wrap things up for today, I thought it would be a good idea to come through and just upgrade this main road that cuts right through Garland because we do have a lot of traffic coming down here. And admittedly, a lot of it is sticking to this road out here because this is sort of the main one that comes out of San Francisco. So that kind of makes sense. But what I did want to do was just upgrade at least this part so the road does eventually come onto something with a bit more density i have locked this road as well so that hopefully we're not going to see any uh crazy developments here we have fewer intersections on this road which is hopefully going to be good for us quite a lot out here but that's totally okay the only thing i'm really considering at this point is that it might not be a terrible idea to just rebuild this uh this entire sort of 
entrance into Garland. I think what we could maybe do is bring this all back a little bit. This is going to start messing with things, but if we bring this back like this, and then we come through and we get ourselves something with a bit more density, a little bit, maybe a large country road is sort of what we're looking for. We could do this. I don't think it's going to be the end of the world if we have these intersections close to each other, because this one, while busy, uh, does allow all the vehicles to sort of chill in there a little bit. And then this can sort of come straight up like that. Now, yes, it messes with this angle and it's a little bit, a little bit of a slope, but that's, that's kind of okay. Uh, this guy is going to need to run in front of this building, which I am completely fine with. I'm pretty sure I could bring this over. I can maybe bring this back a little bit if I, uh, if I really wanted to. So bring it back a little bit like that and that, and then hopefully get a nice little curve on this. Uh, it could be better, could be worse. I think we'll, we'll sort of go with that. And then this guy is going to be extended out like this and we'll give it a nice little curve as well. Upgrade that entire section and then lock the rest of that road. And hopefully that's just going to allow the traffic to sort of flow a little bit better. We can connect this guy up as well. It just adds a little bit more density. I hate this corner. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I absolutely hate this corner. I'm going to redo that. Uh, I think what I'll do instead actually is extend this sort of straight up and then just push this sort of straight through. And yes, it gives us another intersection close to this one. And yes, I don't like that, but I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna allow it because I think this looks better than, uh, than what I had there. So that's, that's sort of how that's going to cut through. I guess that's fine. It's, um, it could definitely be better, but it's, it's all right. We'll just go ahead and lock. I don't need to, I don't need to lock the whole thing. We'll lock that bit and we'll see what happens. We'll see if that does allow traffic in here uh, any better or worse than it was before. I would be tempted to turn off traffic lights. I don't know that we're going to need them. I wish I could turn them off here. These, these ones really annoy me, but we'll see how that goes. We'll see. We'll see if that gets traffic moving a little bit. Uh, I have, I have some doubts. I think we might need to, we not, we might need to make this just a little bit better, a little bit more efficient, a little bit more practical. That is, I always forget just how much silver we we need to do something about that silver we really do we're not doing it today we, we, we're not doing it today but we, at some point i'm going to i'm gonna do something about it so i think with everything said and done we're now in a pretty decent spot we've spent a lot of money we've bulldozed a lot of roads we've replaced a lot of vehicles but i think we're doing okay i have just gone through and made another slight change. The Salem Bricks delivery line, I've just expanded it sort of around this lower area because a lot of these guys want bricks as well. And I've also made a point of trying to take it off this main road. So it still goes to all the same places. It just has a few more and it goes in sort of a roundabout way. So obviously it's on the main road for a little bit here. But it sort of comes down, it goes to Lincoln Street, Cedar Street, comes into Cherry Street, and it hits a waypoint into Upper Salem, so it still has this drop-off, and then it follows a waypoint back out. So again, it's mostly staying off of the main roads for the most part. And I'm also realizing this little section of uh, this little section of Avenue is completely redundant. I really I, I should have just moved this uh, this tram stop onto this road and just continued it straight up. That would have made so much more sense than whatever I'm doing here. In fact, <laughs> why, why, why did I do this? Why? Did I, I don't know why I didn't. I'm not going to change it now. I'm committing to that, apparently. Oh, it's this road exists because it's sort of implied that yeah, it would have went straight through there. Okay. We also probably want to get rid of this food production train station in here. It's it's causing more problems with traffic than it's really worth. But again, at some point I want to sit down and redo all of the all of the transit links for all of my my cities. So we'll do that eventually is uh, is what we'll do. We also have more uh, more planks here than we know what to do with. That's very exciting. That implies that at some point we're going to need more trains. This guy, I'm assuming, has yep leveled up a little bit, which is great. Consumers 316. 
that is still less than this line can move. Yeah, 354. So we're still okay there. We don't need more trucks. But I think, I say I think, I know, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there for today. I mentioned in the last episode that I want these episodes to get shorter. This one has taken longer to record than the last one, and I have a feeling the end result is going to be a longer video as well, so doing a really good job at keeping the episode times down to a reasonable amount. But you know what? It's, it's all good. Let's go ahead and leave it there for today. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. It has been an absolute pleasure, as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye bye <laughs>